What I have for you on the counter is the SE RB3. This is a 3 inch knife. It is 1095 high carbon steel. It is between 55 and 57 hardness. It has a 90 degree spine. It's a Scandi grind blade and it has micarta scales. There's a lanyard hole and it comes with a leather sheath. This is meant to be an outdoor knife. This is meant to be for bushcraft, outdoor adventuring, camping, camp lore, whatever term that you want to use. But I like to use this as an EDC fixed blade because of the design, the size, the shape, the balance. This is another knife uh, that I have that I prefer to use as an EDC fixed blade rather than as what it was intended to be made for, which is an outdoor knife. I still like to carry this because I do like the Scandi Grind Blade because nothing cuts like a Scandi Grind Blade. And this thing is razor sharp. And this, the handles, the scales on this are fatter than the other ones that I have. So I have my other outdoor knife that I like to use as an EDC fixed blade, the JG3. And so look at the handle thickness difference. And then my, out, my preferred outdoors knife, the 4 inch PR4, look at the difference in the thickness in the handles. So these uh, scales are pretty thin, well, that's why I like the knife, but this is also why I like this knife, is because of how fat the handles are. Has a natural little stop there, doesn't have a blade choil. But what's great about this Scandi grind is the whole blade is sharpened blade. Like, there's no wasted space on the blade. And with the 90 degree spine, you literally have sharp from one end to the other. And the tip is super sharp too. Now, they do come with a warning on these that you should not try and baton with them. And I've seen people make videos where they baton with them and they roll the edge. So this is not exactly the best outdoor bushcraft whatever knife in my collection. That's also why I like to use this as an EDC fixed blade because it's a good size and it's extremely capable and the handle I really like the handle how fat it is this is the only one that I have where the handle is this fat and it's kind of unique in that regard and I really like the weight that it has because these scales are so much thicker than the other that it has a little bit more weight here in the rear and with the three inch blade I think that the balance on this is different than the other knives and I really do like it. And so with the thickness of the, even you see how thick it is from this angle, you can get your thumb on here and still, and get a lot of leverage. That's what I really like about this is the handle and how fat it is. It allows you to get great leverage. So I wear a size small gloves and look at, you can, if you have big hands, you got plenty of space for your big hands. You can also slide down on it. You can put the lanyard thing through and then connect it to your wrist. So you can process wood with this. This is an excellent knife though for processing wood. Not only because of how sharp the Scandi grind blade is, but because of how it also has the 90 degree spine. So you can process wood with both sides of the blade. So I really like this knife, but it's not the greatest for bushcraft, outdoor adventuring, so on and so forth in my collection. Even though that's what it's designed for, I prefer the SE PR4 for that purpose, or the JG5. I like this one, the RB3 and the JG3, as an EDC fixed blade. The CR 2.5, also from SE, is an excellent fixed blade. It's super small. It's only a 2.5 inch um, blade, and the handle is really small. That's why I, I tended to not like it as much. But this, the handle is super fat, and it's easy to grip for anyone and everyone. And the handle size, if you have big hands, it'll work. Small hands, it'll work. And the Scandi Grind Blade, super, super sharp. Cuts extremely well. So the other blades I have are Drop Points. I have um, a Kephart, a Nesmuk. This is the only Scandi Grind Blade I have. And I would get different Scandi Grind Blades, but, you know, I don't really know um, if I really need another one. I kind of like just this one. It's the perfect size. A 3-inch blade is highly capable. You can do a lot of different things with a 3-inch blade. And it's pretty thick, too. So this is a capable knife. And it is extremely sharp right out of the box. Made in the USA. Lifetime warranty. Can't go wrong. I like the JG3 a little bit better. But this is a, 
little different. So you see how thin the handle is on this. This is still a three inch knife. They're both three inch knives. This handle is a little curved, but it's a lot thinner. This one, the handle isn't as ergonomic, but the thickness of it, I really, really like. So it is ergonomic in a regard, just not as much as like the JG3, because the way that it's curved, you, you're able to get closer to the blade. But here you're able to get a lot of leverage on um, with the handle. And with this sharp blade, you're able to cut really, really well with the Scandi grind. So I really like this knife because it's utilitarian and it's a good design. And it does have a lifetime warranty. So even if you choose to baton with it um, and roll the edge, you can always fix it. But if you break it, you know, you get it replaced. So, but it does come with a warning that you shouldn't baton with it, FYI. It doesn't say that when I bought it, but it does come in the packaging. So this is another outdoor adventure, bushcraft, survival knife that I prefer to use as a fixed blade EDC. This is the SE RB3.